below. Before we start, make sure you have the latest version of Easy Edit Viewer installed. Check this link. To install this pack we need navigate to the for Premiere Pro folder and find install.ev file. Let's open Premiere Pro and Easy Edit Viewer panel. Go to Window, Extensions, Easy Edit Viewer. Place the panel as you like. Hit plus button to add new pack to viewer and choose install.ev file. Or just drop the install file into the viewer directly. Type your email and purchase code to activate this pack. Instagram Stories pack appeared in packs list on the top. Here we can see the list of categories and preview of the scenes. Click on the category name to open all scenes to discover. First, we need to create a new sequence for our story. Go to File, New, Sequence, and create vertical video. Name the sequence. Go to Settings, and set frame size to 1080 on 1920, square pixel, progressive scan. After this, we can import any shot we like, directly to our timeline. Browse scenes by opening categories and scrolling down. You can add any scenes you like to favorites, and quickly find them later. Just hit the star button on the top right corner. Click on the scene to import it to your project. The shot will appear on timeline. It's pretty easy to add your content to stories. Open the story sequence with double click and you will find placeholder layers, it always highlighted green. Import content you want, to your Premiere project, and place it inside the placeholder sequences. Put your photos on the lowest layer, replace the content holder, under the stretching scale adjustment layers. Repeat this action for all placeholders and scenes. Looks nice. Pink layers are editable in Essential Graphics panel. You will find it in the window drop down menu. The layer on the bottom is background, here you can change it color only. The layer on the top contains text and elements settings like fonts, colors, scale and position. Every element has his own settings, feel free to experiment.
let's create another story with video content in it. I like this one, import to timeline with one click. Go inside the sequence and open placeholder layer, highlighted green. Blue layers are technical layers, they make stretching and scaling effect, you can disable them if you want. Just like in previous shot bottom layer is content holder layer, replace it with your video. Pink layer here is color overlay, it's posable to edit it. Near the placeholder, is main text and elements layer, highlighted pink too. Let's make some quick changes here. Beautiful. Story is ready for export. Except of the prepare scenes, you can create your own story from the elements of the pack. Let's start with the background. There is plenty to choose from. Little bit of customization. Now we can add some text to our story. There is a clean typography category, special for it. And let's add some arrows and other elements. You can double click on the element to adjust its scale and position. possibilities for creating awesome stories 